Hi there. So this is podcast number three. Uh, this is recorded on the 20th of November. Last podcast was November 1st, so it's actually been a hot minute. Um, but we're glad to have um, some engineers back on the podcast for once. Today we have Alex and Justin. Say hello, guys. Hi. What's up? If you hear a little bit of feedback, it's because they're also in the same room as me. Um, it's a very complicated situation, trust me. Calm situation? Complicated. complicated situation. Go ahead and tell them about yourselves. Um, I'm Alex, and I'm a senior out of Lathan Northwest. And, yeah. And I'm probably going to KU next year. That's great. At Kansas University. Yeah. And you're on build team, right? Yeah, I'm on build team. And there's Justin. I'm Justin. I'm also a senior. I'm not sure where I'm going to go to college. We'll see. Yeah, he'll figure it out. You don't have to go to college either. No, I wanna, I'm going to go to college. But yeah. yeah, he'll figure it out. Anywhoosin. <laughs> so tell people what you've been working on. Uh, well, today we are working on the motor um i guess frames the motor and the wheel are going to be in these things why don't you like describe it visually to them like what does it look like um it's like a clear piece of lexan with uh, a whole bunch of holes in it and then there's little standoffs and um what are these called tech shafts okay that, um are just going to be connecting two pieces all right and then all right, stop. I'm going to go in the hallway just so there's like absolutely no audio feedback or, you know. All right, so I'm out here now. You guys can still hear me, right? Hello. You can hear me still, can't you? Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Do you speak up into the mic a little more? I can hardly hear you. Yeah. Yes. So you've been working on those two little plates there. Um, what else have you done? Prototyping flywheels, a flicker, and a single flywheel. So go, go ahead and describe that. Um, it's basically two wheels with a motor attached, and then there's a little space for the ring to go through, and it swings the ring. All right, that's cool. The wheels are in all directions, so it goes for right. um, I'm going to come back because this audio is kind of rough we have adjusted ourselves so now hopefully we're closer hopefully they'll hear us and there's no like you know reverberations with the audio so double flywheel tell us more um uh, basically we already explained it but um there's uh, two wheels two motors the wheels are spinning in opposite directions and once you put a ring there it'll shoot it um bam really in between the wheels that's pretty neat yeah so yeah we're launching rings um i think i've said that earlier in one of our other podcasts but um we've really made some big steps into completing that um we have our instructor here mr hernandez he's been um he's been working, he's been working pretty hard managing us managing both classes at am and pm so Let's give, a big, let's give a big shout out to him. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mr. Okay. Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez. Okay. So, um, anyway, how has your experience in like hybrid been? What's it like? Um, I kind of hate it. Oh. It's our senior year. And I feel like if, um, if the school board was actually listening to the people with the good ideas, we would actually have a better schedule to where like. Elaborate, maybe, please. Um, the best schedule that I could think of is like the Blue Valley one where they have kids uh, last name A through K go one week while the other kids um, M through Z or whatever. Yeah. They stay at home and do virtual for that week and they just switch off every week. Yeah. So would that be like, that would be all classes. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be like a block day. Well, you is... still have your block days on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, we have, we have some rummaging through some packages because we have um, we have more than a few things we need to sort out here. We're fact. looking for things. We are looking for things, Justin says. Um, very true. But uh, yeah, that's actually an interesting thought. We could do that. Uh, Justin, your thoughts? Um, I I really like hybrid. Yeah. I like having just the basically half day of school, show up at 7.45, leave at 11. Mm -hmm. It's, I feel like that sort of also gives us a taste of what college could sort of be like because you don't have your, you don't have all of your classes in a row, like eight to three, you have kind of separated out throughout your day. And it also, it's really nice to come back and be in person. Mm -hmm. So you like the shorter days then? Mm -hmm. I'm going home at 11.45? Yeah, yeah. The, the shorter days and the shorter classes. Yeah, us kids, A through L, we have the luxury of going home early, whereas um, the PM kids, which I guess would be M through Z, would um, they kind of have the luxury of sleeping late, and then it kind of ends around 3 o'clock like a normal school day. But, uh, yeah. So anything you find interesting, just to like about the build environment? The build environment. Yeah. Um. I think it's hard because our builders are split up. There's two in the morning and there's two in the afternoon. So when we were prototyping, we were all doing different things. Like um, in the morning, we were doing double flywheels and just prototyping sensors, I guess. And then in the afternoon, they were doing like single flywheels and a flicker. And we, we didn't really communicate a whole lot well, I guess. We could have communicated more. Okay. So so describe like like some of the, some of like the, the advantages of, of using different like launch systems like flywheel or flicker. Is that, I don't, I'm not so sure that they know what it that is. It just depends is. on um, how well we want our ring to like the accuracy or like how far we want to shoot it from. Yeah. Or like how much room it'll take up on our robot because the double flywheels definitely take up a lot of room. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good because it, it has like those two wheels that give it a lot of power. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Versus like Flickr, for instance, you kind of see where I'm going with this versus like Flickr. You know, Flickr does X, Y, and Z, you know. Um, it's like, it, it, it's a lot, how, how would you say it's a lot easier to like develop because it's like, it's like not as much motor power. You just kind of like let the thing go and it flicks the wheel or the disc. Yeah, I'd say our flicker probably has more power than the double flywheel mm -hmm. just because we have a really powerful motor on there. Mm -hmm. And we flick it with Lexan, right? Which is yeah. like that. Yeah. It's like this, uh, Justin, it's like this it's piece a, of glass, right? Well, yeah. It's a pretty flexible, just like plastic material. But you can just buy in a sheet and you can cut out whatever you need. Yeah, we, we use that for a lot of stuff, don't we? It's very useful. Yeah, incredibly useful. Um, anyway, so tell them, so right now you're working on those, what, what did you call those, these things over here? Um, I would just call them like our uh, motor frames for okay. right now, because our wheel and our motors are going to be in them. Motor frames, okay. Motor frames. So how, how many motors are we looking at right now between between like all the launch mechanisms and the wheels? Mm, it depends on what um, what shooter we want. If we want a double flywheel or a flicker or a single, but around five to six. Around five to six. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so four motors four, for the four wheels, four wheels, and then one or two for the shooter. Yeah. How much does that set you back? How much does that set us back? Yeah, like you guys, you guys, you guys are crunched on like you know resources a lot. Of, I suspect so. You guys kind of like manage a lot of that stuff, don't you? The only the our biggest setback is not getting our parts. Our parts to start building yeah. stuff. Explain that process a little bit. Um. So basically, right now, our whole entire build season has been prototyping. Prototyping. And we have not started on the robot at all, <laughs> except for today. Yeah. And, and we're coming up on some deadlines, aren't we? What's yeah. the uh, what's the deadline for like Tuesday, the 24th? 
Yo. Tuesday, November 24th. Yeah. Deadline. What, what's like what's like the goal we want to reach by then? Have a robot. Have a robot. We want to have a pretty basic robot. How completed. close are we to that goal? Not very. Not very close. Not at all. A percentage. Just a like. percentage. Give me a one percent. No, not one, one percent. percent. Maybe right. like five percent. Okay, a little, <laughs> a, little, a little more optimism. But um, no. so what? What do other uh, team members kind of what? All right, so we talked about build. What? As a group, as a team, because teamwork is really important. What, as a team, do we really need to accomplish to maybe make those five percent a six percent, or, or, or dare I even say seven percent? But like, um, like, how do we how do we really go out there? Well, this year was a really a lot different than yeah. other years because um, we didn't really know how to start, like even begin, because we didn't know if we were going to be in person or like stay at home this whole year. So yeah. Once we ordered the parts, it was already kind of really late. But um, what basically what people can do is once we get the parts, they can just jump in on the build team because I'm sure we'll have tons of like sub assemblies for them to do and like mm -hmm. X rails, turrets, shooters. It'll be a lot. So like program program for instance was working today on like their odometry. Um, is that like is that? Does that give you like relief at all that like they're working on those big steps, those um, big strides? Well, they've always been making big strides because they. That's true. They, they haven't they, had to wait they, on they anything. And Joseph are good. Are yeah. good. Uh, yeah, they're good workers. They're, they're crazy when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, like, we don't have a robot for them. They just grab one from the back, and they're mm -hmm. already. Yeah, and we're we're the only team competing this year. Is that true? Well, out of our whole school. Right. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we have more than enough excess stuff that we can kind of just do with do with what we want. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So there's programming. There's build, of course. But you guys are on. I've had Nathan from programming on. Um, there's like there's managers. One for um, like kind of like media and outreach, which are also sub teams. Um, and then one that heads design, programming, and build. And design is one also I didn't mention. But uh, they kind of plan out the robot. Is that true? Design. They they basically put together, and they also create their own parts. Mm -hmm. Just parts that they think would work well for what we need the robot to do, and they put it all together in a model, and we build what the model is, what the model shows us. Our designs have been really good this year. Um, but one of our best designs have come from Blake, the lead engineer. Yeah, the lead engineer. Awesome. So why is so? What, in your opinion, is the best sub team to be? And of course, you got you guys probably experienced <laughs> a, li a little bit of bias. A little bit of bias here. Hmm. I was on programming last year. Okay. And you did not so, like so, it. So why why did you it want was... to be on? So you didn't like it. So why you is that why you wanted to be on build this year? Well, no, I didn't. I wanted to be on build because I didn't want to deal with any management stuff, which there's still some stuff that we still have to manage, but there's no way I could do programming because Joseph- Programming this year. Yeah. yeah. Programming this year. Programming last year is fine. Okay. But programming this year, they're using just Java, which- Java. I don't really- Understand. I mean, I understand it, but I'm not nearly as- fluent as them in those areas so you like build much better then i think it's i think it's good for this year you think it's good a good fit for me, yeah. all right alex so do you think builds the best sub team in it? and if so why um i think so yes because it's the most fun it's the most fun i could see that yeah. it's not like tedious work on like programming and reprogramming or like outreach like what uh, maddie does we have to like reach yeah. out to people and talk to them i'm not a mm -hmm. person for that um and then like the lead engineering i don't know i think build is definitely the funnest because the funnest yes all right yeah i can see that it's like you know you're always working it's always hands-on work um the difficulties for me at least from like i was on design last year and as a spectator kind of a build, um, I guess what you would maybe call me, 
you know, being a designer and all. I would say the biggest complaints they had with me and my and my sub team was that we never we never gave them a whole lot of direction, so they kind of had to go off in their own in their own separate ways, oh. which is fair. Do, do you kind of experience that? Do you think like um? No, Blake has been pretty good this year on giving us directions. Other designers, I haven't really seen them, but I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure they're doing great things. You haven't seen the designs or you haven't seen the designers because of quarantine? Both. Both. Yeah, we've had some we have had some rough past, patches here with quarantine. But um, yeah, speaking of Maddie on outreach, we were lucky this week. She scheduled, um, sh yeah, shout out to Maddie. She scheduled some engineers to come in and give us a design review of our bot. That was really awesome. Let's give a round of applause to Maddie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Justin, come in here. We're going to do a round of applause. Yeah. All right. Um, I think the designer's review was really um, important. I think we needed it. Yeah. Because we didn't really have a direction for our shooter. But um, I like the more clarification that our designers got on their designs. And just like them telling us that simple is better, I think. Um, put the designers in our right direction that they needed to go. We've had a lot to talk about, like um, the designer view for one, because the last podcast we recorded was in November 1st, and now we're, we're well over halfway, you know, into the month at this point. So mm -hmm. what are some crazy things that's happened in the month of November, guys? You know, part pertaining to like this year, or not this year, but like, you know, this, you know, this team, this school year. Um, you know what? It hasn't been a very crazy November. Cause, not very eventful. No. Yeah, well, it's been eventful outside of school, but inside school, it's, it hasn't been really eventful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there was an election, and then we're not going to. Then we're not going to go back into school. I'm really not happy with the fact that we have to go back to remote. You know, it's going to make it a lot harder on our parts. Yeah, remote. It just felt like days were kind of coming together and they were all the same. Like, it felt like you were just doing the same day every single day over and over. Because you only, you only got half the day. You only get so much done. So it feels like you're doing like a no, lot no, no, of No, 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 like doing remote. Doing remote. Yeah, it was like, wake up, do your schoolwork, um, then do homework, yes. and then go to bed, do the same thing. Yeah, go to bed. Yeah, and, and, and with that, we had full days. Like, it would go from 7.45 to 3 o'clock. And... So an hour and a half long classes of... Yeah, 95 minutes. Screen. And if you're Staring. in six AP classes, those AP classes give at least an hour of homework. So that's six hours of homework. So that's 13 hours of school a day. Any closing points? Um, I love school. I love school. Person school is so much better than online. PTY yeah. or XOX. Yeah, it's um. We have things. We have Thanksgiving break coming up. It's this is a Friday for us. So, so it's today is an even day, which means this is actually a day where we have engineering as a class. And then when we come back Monday, we won't have engineering. We'll have like you know odd days, um, which is different classes than um, the one we have today because it alternates with the schedule. And then Tuesday is our last actual in day or in class day here until break, and then we don't know when we're going to come back after that, if ever. I think. Uh, yeah. We're still able to come in here after school, so that'll be good. Yeah, just for us to get work done. Yeah, um, I was gonna say, do you ever think we'll ever be back in school? Yeah. Um, I would just say optimistic. Say optimistic. Stop it, Justin. Think I'll ever think I'll ever be back in school? At like like come back, whether it be in hybrid or full classes, you know, that, that'd be something. Or will we just stay in remote for the rest of the year? Um, how's, how's it looking in your, in your little, you know, in your little viewfinder? And in, in my eyes, it's, it's looking like we should be able to come back at some point next semester, mm -hmm. but we'll have to see everything that happens. And if the, cases come back down then we'll be able to come back and hopefully we'll be able to do full classes again mm -hmm. yeah kansas man we gotta hit hard with these cases <laughs> but uh 
-hmm. at this point it probably probably won't go on any longer um thank you guys for coming out and yeah. see you next time on the podcast bye goodbye <laughs>